Hey, what's up everybody, man? So Teddy Bridgewater has agreed to sign with the Carolina Panthers. I'm pretty sure this man is going to be the starter going to next season. And I'm just here to let you guys know what to expect from Teddy Bridgewater and how good this man really was with the New Orleans Saints based off of what I seen on film. So before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance. If you like the video and you like the content, just make sure you click the subscribe button at the end to see some more content in the near future. So I feel like a lot of people are caught up with the Teddy Bridgewater comeback story and they're not really analyzing how good of a quarterback Teddy Bridgewater is. They look at the stats and they see that they were good. They see he had a good record as a starter. They see that he had a good record overall in his appearances and they're able to acknowledge a few things about him as far as him being able to do this with a trash O-line in a defense that was suspect. That's all cool, but when you actually look at the film of Teddy Bridgewater, there was nothing really extravagant about how he played. Like, Teddy Bridgewater is not trash. I still think he played good filling in for Drew Brees, but he really thrived off throwing a lot of short passes and making the right decision like on this play. Both his guys up top were covered. Guess what? He hits the guy underneath and it pays off. He just didn't get the first down. Same thing right here. He steps back in the pocket. Boom. Two wide open guys in the flats. He hit the one he wanted to hit. Complete pass. Easy decision. Same thing right here. Didn't even have to think on this play. Steps back and immediately throws to the running back coming out the backfield, man. These are not hard plays and this is nothing extravagant. This was pretty much Teddy Bridgewater every single game throwing a lot of short passes and check down routes. Not saying that he's doing something bad, but I'm just saying he's not really doing anything that stands out. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. They got NFL Game Pass going for the free until May 31st. Go on ahead and get your subscription and watch the games after you watch this video, you come back and share your experience, man. But to get back to the video, even though Teddy Bridgewater throws a lot of check down routes and underneath routes, he is really good at being able to make good decisions and have good awareness while under pressure. On this play right here, the line is getting dogged, you feel me? So Teddy Bridgewater, he get the ball off to his playmaker on a check down route and he makes a good play out of that pass. On this play right here, he get the snap, pressure's coming, he escapes the pocket, Ooh, nope. <laughs> yeah, and he throws the ball away, man. He ain't taking no sacks. And even if Teddy Bridgewater is or isn't under pressure, if he happens to scramble, he is smart enough to slide instead of taking a hit. These are good, smart plays by a quarterback, but nothing really extravagant, right? But there's times where Teddy Bridgewater shines like right here when he throws the back shoulder route to Mike Tomlin. That's a good play. Same thing right here. He drops back in the pocket, steps up, and throws the deep post to, I think that's tag in and ends up a touchdown. Same thing right here. He steps back in the pocket and he's able to still get the pass off while being sacked. But like I said, most of the time, it's just the same old simple check down routes and underneath routes, man. It, it, it's so boring to watch. I'm not even going to lie to you. Now, can Teddy Bridgewater go deep? I mean, yeah, but I'm still concerned because we have not seen him throw enough deep balls. Like, it's pretty much inconsistent at this point because there's times when he throws great accurate passes like that. Another one right here, he gets the snap, he throws a deep out route to Mike Thomas. Great accurate pass complete. Same thing right here, he gets the snap, he steps back, he's able to throw an inside post you know, in a tight window. That's not deep, but it's kind of midfield. You feel me? But there's times when he's stepping back in the pocket and just throwing uncatchable passes at the same time. Same thing right he steps back in the pocket. He overthrows the streak route. It's not catchable. And even though the ball is still caught on this play, Teddy Bridgewater needs to get that ball down because that ball is too high. Even on the short routes, he's pretty good, but he needs some touching up on accuracy and timing because this play right here, a basic slant route, should have never been that difficult of a grab for Mike Thomas. Right here, a basic curl route should have never been that difficult of a grab for that tight end. It's fortunate that they were able to bring it in, but it's not always going to go in your favor as you see him throw this ball too high on the run and it's intercepted off deflection. Same thing right here. He steps back in the pocket. He throws the ball either too behind Kamir or too low, but it's deflected and it's intercepted. Not really the receiver's fault, more of the quarterback's fault. So when it comes to Teddy Bridgewater's future with the Carolina Panthers, I expect him to naturally get better as a quarterback simply because 
he's going to be the starter all offseason. He's going to get all the reps he needs, and he's going to develop chemistry with his players. But Teddy Bridgewater, he's basically a game manager. He's a quarterback that does all the right things. Nothing more, nothing less. He's going to make the right reads. He's going to make the right decisions. He's going to throw the ball away. He's going to slide on scrambles. He does have some good pocket awareness, but that's really about it. He's not somebody that's going to be killing you deep. He's not somebody that's going to be threading the needle constantly. He's not somebody that's going to be constantly throwing darts and just making those big plays. You feel me? He just does what he's supposed to do. I think he's going to benefit from Chris McCaffrey because he's an upgrade from Alvin Kamara and they basically played the same game. I think he has some good receivers in DJ Moore and um, Curtis Samuel, but those guys are going to have to step up because one thing that Teddy Bridgewater did in um, New Orleans, he was able to use Mike Thomas and Mike Thomas was kind of his bailout. Mike Thomas fought for two of Teddy Bridgewater's touchdowns. I don't know if DJ Moore and Curtis Samuel are going to be able to do that, but they are going to have to step up. But I think Teddy Bridgewater is a good quarterback, but he is not what people are trying to pay him to be. So that's my opinion on Teddy Bridgewater. If you disagree, that's fine. They also got the game pass like I told y'all earlier in the video. Go check it out and you can come back in the comment section and we can chat out and we can teach each other some things. But that's pretty much all I got to say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and do not forget I got some more content coming soon.